the average interest rate in U- for banks in the UK mm-hmm. is 0.2%. So if we, I think we, we, calcula- uh, uh, we calculated this earlier on, didn't we? If we put a thousand pounds in the bank, right? So in January, by Christmas, you will have the princely sum of two pounds. And this is important, guys, because that means that we can't just trust in whacking everything in a bank. Uh, we need to be thinking of other way to get streams of different types of income, right? And maybe the challenge that you face and maybe you didn't understand isn't because of the of the circumstance, the situation, isn't just because of that, but it's because you only had one financial leg. So yo, basically every Tuesday, Maurice comes into the show and he's had over 25 years experience working in the, st- the financial sector, investment banking, exactly. commodities, exactly. asset management, yada, yada. Exactly. And, yeah. um, you know, and the thing about it is, so what he does, he knows certain things that they don't, that they don't want us to know. So he comes here and spills the beans and that allows us to know how to navigate the financial market to actually build things for ourselves with the information that we've received. All right. But the point is, we got just a quick disclaimer here. Yeah. Quick disclaimer is I am not uh, regulated by the FCA, Financial Conduct Authority. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not uh, a consultant or anything like that per se. So I just thought I'd let you know what I do have is a media platform. A media stroke educational platform that educates people and guides people and help people as you say navigate the financial. The, the financial markets yeah. and investment uh, platforms absolutely. And, and things like that absolutely so, yeah. Is, uh, sorry I, I, I can't hear myself properly here um, thank you very much, champion. Oh, there we, oh yeah. I can hear you now. Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh, I feel so nice. I feel <laughs> free. Oh, yes. I, I, I like to something. I need to hear my voice. All right. So, uh, look, we have our Breakfast Show faithfuls here. We've been speaking about what they took from the upper room, but now we're going to get some tools for you to go out there and win. What are we going to be looking at today, Maurice? Okay. So, today we are. I'd like to start off with, with one thing. So, um, why is it important to have financial IQ? Mm. Okay. We, we mention this all the time on the show. Yeah. So, because uh, someone might be there saying, financial life, I did not come here for financial life, I'm living, <laughs> right? I don't know, I don't know, but, but why, why? <laughs> you know, um, and you know, like Monday service in, in you know, we had the Monday service indeed, yesterday. Indeed. We learned some powerful things there today and we yeah. have an opportunity to learn more today. All right, and so so why is it important for us, especially those of us who are believers? Yeah, so it's important. Um, there's things out there we just don't know. There are things that, uh, we don't learn in school, we don't learn in, in, in college or university. Mm. So the average, just to, to, to lay this out to you guys and make it um, more more re- relevant to you, the average interest rate in U- for banks in the UK mm-hmm. is 0.2%. All right, so maybe you've seen that. Um, when we're talking about the UK, it might be different in the country that you are. But just to understand the psychology of what he's saying here, because you might have been confronted with certain types of marketing. What does that mean? Okay, and by the way, that is going to be pretty much the case for many banks around the world because of the global state of the economy at the moment. Okay. It, it may be in the UK, but you probably find Europe, the USA, Australia. It m- may also be more or less the same. But 0.2%, that's a figure that they're giving to us. So what does right. that mean? There's nothing wrong with that, right? Right. So if we, I think we we, calcula- uh, uh, we calculated this earlier on, didn't we? If we put a thousand pounds in the bank, right? So in January, by Christmas, you will have the princely sum of two pounds. Okay. So what can you buy? Mac- McDonald's, what do you get? Do you I, get I, if you got an app, you might get like a, a Big Mac for £1.99. Yeah. And you'll so get you, change. Yeah, yeah. So what we, he's saying here <laughs> is that there's things that are becoming norm, all right? And usually we're taught 
Just wherever you get, put it in the bank, put it there to save, right? And it will sit there and they will even say, you will receive 0.2%. I was here, no, I was here 1%, but now it's even got even a bit more critical where it's 0.2%. 0.2%. And we think I will put it there. But that's it for so about, for So for a hundred pounds, if we put in a hundred pounds, you get two pence. Two pence. And for a thousand pounds, for a thousand, it's right. So look at that. So if you put a hundred pounds in the bank in January, yeah, by Christmas, you get two p. You get two pence, and if you put in a thousand, two pounds. Two pounds. So All right. So what we're trying to say is, and then everybody here, the Universal Fund, we know how to work. Right. If we focus, we're workers. We know how to work. We know how to go out there and graft. We know how to go out there and use up, make something happen. We know how to. We get the anointing on our feet and we'll go and step in a place and we can make things happen. Right. And but the thing about it is, if we're trying to, if we start thinking about, we want to do something that's going to be that will help us now and then we help our children. Indeed. We have to start thinking a bit more broader. Correct. Right. We can create. We know to create businesses, but there are other options available. Absolutely. And um, and this is important, guys, because that means that we can't just trust in whacking everything in a bank uh we need to be thinking of other way to get streams of different types of income right Indeed. and you have something that you created your, your special um your hob your hobby yes okay so uh because he, 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 he likes doing hands handicraft he, he's, yeah he loves that and he I'm uses quite, his handicraft habit he's a bit he's a bit, I'm geeky, a bit I'm you know a bit so he's like he's like i'm gonna make <laughs> something <laughs> here uh, i'm gonna do some carpentry i've been inspired all right and it, but he, it will convey a really powerful message go on show so him. so okay so there is a concept called the four-legged table and the one-legged table mm -hmm. all right and i i've i've done some some work earlier on so um, here it is. Here is okay. our one-legged table. So yep, that's the camera. Here right is there. our one-legged table. So I don't a, know if you can so see this. So a table this. that people go to eat at. Right. It's got one leg. It's got one leg. Okay. So if you have a salary, okay, this is the th this one-legged table. This is you. That's mm -hmm. the the tabletop is yourself, mm -hmm. and the salary is your one-legged table and that salary goes into your bank account that's giving you 0.2 percent and yeah by the way yeah by the way it yeah. goes into your bank account and uh, uh gives you a princely sum of 0.2 percent on your hard-earned cash yeah. so anyway here's your salary and you know we were going through the pandemic and many of my friends were telling me oh maurice you know the pandemic is happening and my my boss has come to me and said look things are tough we might have to cut your salary in half so mm -hmm. You've got bills to pay, you've got telephone bills, you've got gas bills, you've got lighting bills, council tax, yada, yada, yada. Yeah. So, if you're in Africa, you can avoid some of those things. Yes. However, yeah. everyone has expenses. Everyone has right? expenses. Everyone has expenses in order to live. So this is your one-legged table. This mm -hmm. is you. This is your salary. And then if, we, if your boss does come to you and cut your salary in half. Mm. Okay. So... Now it's it's a little bit it's a little bit unstable now, right? We, no, but money is not important. <laughs> as soon as that happens, we yeah. start thinking yeah. maybe <laughs> money doesn't make you happy. Mm. But money's not supposed to make you happy. Mm. Money is a tool. That's right. That's all it is. Yeah. It's like a spoon or or knife and fork or exactly. garden shears or whatever. It's not supposed to make you happy per se. It's yeah. just a tool for you to leave. So if you lift but it up higher, so that that tool you is something that it. gives us the security, like to have a roof over our head to feed our children. Correct. Right. And now our boss has come and said we're going to cut it in half. He's cutting it in half because of the pandemic and the company struggling and mm -hmm. whatnot. So he's had to cut the salary in half. Mm -hmm. And then uh, a month later, he comes back and says, "Listen, the company has not done very well at all. Um, look, you're you're a lovely bloke." You know, you're Robert, we you've really got like such you. a great personality. You're always coming with a smile on your face. You're always very well, pre well Thank presented. You. Thank you. But uh, uh, we, we, we gotta, we gotta let you go. <laughs> we gotta let you go. So look, this is what happens. Okay, to your one again. So now, yeah. that, that it's gone, and you're flat on the floor. Now the table's gone. This is you, by the way falling okay so that's the concept of the one legged table and the salary so may, so universal family maybe many of you have gone through this or maybe you're going through it right now okay and maybe the challenge that you face and maybe you didn't understand isn't because of the of the circumstances situation isn't just because of that but it's because you only had one financial leg and then you ended up on the ground and maybe you've gone and built up just one leg 
But guess what? Life will always kind of, will bring its storms, right? Indeed, it will. will always bring its challenges. So, how do what can we do to overcome that kind of situation? Okay, so to overcome this situation, we need a four-legged table. Can you see that, guys? Here is my four-legged table. That looks beautiful. It took me up until two a.m. In the morning, um, <laughs> to 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 with Bostic and Super. No, I'm I'm kidding. It didn't take that long, but you can see the concept. Yeah. It has four legs. So what does this represent? So this leg here represents your salary. Yeah. This leg here represents. Uh, so is so your salary in, that everybody generally has and works yeah. towards. Yeah. So this this leg here is your salary. Yeah. I should I should put a little sticker on it next time. Yeah. This leg here represents say the the stocks that you've invested in like we've just spoken about. Yeah. This leg here represents a sideline. I don't know maybe Side you hustle. cut hair, you do hairdressing, yeah. you I don't know uh, cut people gardens you and stuff like that. You know uh, Noshi uh, Nosifo from South Africa, she does cakes. You know, I saw it on her WhatsApp stats she has these beautiful cakes. Mm. Budof. There you go. There you go. D uh, Diane uh, uh, Pascal I think her, I pronounced the last name from my branch, Kilburn. She makes, listen to this, healthy, um, I think, gluten free cakes. Look at that. Yeah. Right. So, so that's what that leg is. So that's what that leg is. This leg can be. So that's the fourth one. Uh, indeed. This leg can be investment in bonds. Mm -hmm. Right. It's a completely different sector. Mm -hmm. So if the stock market falls, you've got something invested uh, in bonds. This one can be in crypto. Mm -hmm. I'm not. A crypto guy i'm not going to profess to be a crypto guy i know a little bit about it mm -hmm. but what we've done is we've in we have different either different streams of income or different uh assets to fall back on mm -hmm. for all of those four to go i mean things will have to be really bad mm. right and we're talking about end days right yeah, <laughs> things apocalypse. will have to be apocalyptic okay mm. but that's the four-legged table. Your salary, mm. you invested in the stock market, mm -hmm. you have a side hustle somewhere, mm -hmm. you've got bond investment, different, mm -hmm. different things. And by the way, it doesn't have to be a four-legged table. It can be a six-legged table. Yeah. It can be an eight-legged table. And that's why knowledge is power, right? Because then, to understand now, as you're accumulating knowledge and you're learning certain things and you'll go out in the world and you'll be exposed to certain opportunities that occur, there, that's you being able to adjust, add new legs to your table, mm. right? So let's take away the salary, mm -hmm. okay, from this ta table. So let's get rid of the salary. Ouch. Right, so we got rid of the salary. You worked hard on and, that. And yeah, I really worked hard on this. But look, the table can still, it's a bit wobbly, but it can still more or less, yeah. you know, it not, not everything has fallen apart. Look, it yeah. can still, it's wobbling a little bit. Yeah. But we we still have another three legs to And the same thing can be if you took off another one. If you take off legs, another one. It still has some stability. And if It's getting a bit shaky, mm. but we still have another two legs to, to rely on. The table is looking a little bit shaky, but it's still more or less there mm -hmm. until we get rid of the last leg and then things, yeah, really start. But then we're talking about you yeah. know apocalyptic the sky level. is falling the sky is really you've falling heard, you've then. heard the trumpet of an archangel yeah that so as you can situation. see <laughs> exactly the the table is looking a bit wonky you know understandably but it's still standing mm. you know it's still standing whereas the last time we we cut it in half and it started to wobble yeah. and then we took the leg away and the whole thing yeah, um, just collapsed. collapsed before so you. there was no resistance whatsoever no resistance so whatsoever. tell us what can we do what 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 are th one of the things because we've gone through this and we've we've just kind of given you a bit more of an introduction to what we spoke about in the first episode uh but what's one of the legs that we can get that we can take advantage of this out there in order to kind of safeguard our table uh maybe they're listening abroad or, uh, overseas and the great thing about what you're sharing with us is something that they can get involved in from now you know absolutely what I mean? wherever you are around the globe to start creating an extra leg yeah uh, so tell us what leg can we add to that today okay so i've been over the weeks speaking to people about the stock market yeah and why because uh for two main reasons number one it's my field it's what i know mm -hmm. it's what i the 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 tips and um information i picked up whilst in the industry mm -hmm. i'm invested in the stock market myself so i understand it um for many many years and, and those who consider themselves the elite mm. you know as soon as they have a child they know they're gonna sort out they're gonna get the child involved in stocks and yeah. shares yeah that that's what they do they just know it's like it's like a knee jerk you know if someone hits your knee and you're like hey 
<laughs> right? It's just a knee jerk. So yeah. for them, it's like, oh, Gerald is born. Get him into the stock market, Fred. Yeah. And it's just, you know, I'm going to give you a birthday present. Here are some bonds. Yes. Yeah, and the child doesn't And Gerald is two weeks old. And Gerald is two weeks old. You don't even know what's going on. Yes. Uh, but they're educated in that, right? And the yes. regular people, we there's a, a goal for void for us to be informed about those things. Informed. I'm so glad you mentioned that um, mm. about as soon as the baby's born. Yeah. Something I discovered recently, Warren Buffett was like a godfather to none but uh, Bill Gates, mm. I Microsoft Bill Gates. He was a family friend, right? And they both went to the same, same university, Columbia University. So I find it really, really interesting that the friend of the family, uh, almost like an uncle type figure, mm. is a multi, multi billionaire mm. and his yeah, nephew, nephew understudy is it's also a multi multi so success leaves see, clues you yeah. see so so yes. so because we, we need to get into this because we did we did have a lot um we didn't cringe into our time all right um so what's so today you you've got a particular type of stock that people can start looking into and research today Indeed. right yeah uh, tell us a bit about it so yeah so today we're going to look at stocks and we're going to look at a particular uh, market and a particular indices and it is called nasdaq mm -hmm. okay nasdaq. nasdaq i've seen yeah. that word in various places and i'm like yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay so it's spelled n-a-s-d-a-q i mean who makes up all right these names? so i know i know, I know. It's, it, you know you may come across it you may hear about it in the news sometimes yeah. the nasdaq went up 10 10 points or it fell 20 points or whatever mm -hmm. the national association of securities dealers automated quotations my goodness <gasps> what <laughs> exactly what a mouthful okay. the nasdaq so, so what is the nasdaq and how does that affect them so the nasdaq how does that affect you it is the top i think 102 tech companies right in wow. america mm -hmm. so what does that can comprise of it comprise of microsoft google apple facebook twitter netflix zoom tesla yada 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 all okay. the tech stocks okay right. so it's the it's the top 100 or 102 tech stocks wow. right so whenever you hear so, so that they only got up to 102 yeah it's, it's only about thereabouts not everybody take. gets into that, that and not group. not everyone gets into that group you need to be of a certain size and for certain have a certain level of um uh, assets uh, and security assets security capitalization Capital. okay right and it, they're usually tech stocks okay and the reason i mention it is that you will hear about it in the news you will read about it sometimes mm -hmm. and you can actually take advantage of i think uh amazon the other day they posted um some some profits right um i heard about it be before the 21 days okay so you can take advantage of this right there are platforms out there where you can go in for as little as ten pounds, mm -hmm. right? Twenty pounds, ten pounds, and if you do your research on these stocks, like Microsoft, like Apple, like Netflix, mm -hmm. you can actually invest in these stocks. And as they rise, mm -hmm. guess what? Your investment rises along with these stocks. Wow! All right. And the great thing about today is, years and years ago. I think, for instance, um, what did we look at the other day? I think it was, I, I can't remember whether it was Amazon, or, but some of these stocks go for like a thousand pounds for one stock, a thousand pounds. Years ago, you needed a thousand pounds to buy one stock. Yeah. The pla there are platforms out there now where you can buy fractional shares. Mm. So you can buy a fraction of that stock. Mm -hmm. So if you only, if you're in a part-time job, and you only have 50 pounds to spare, mm. you can buy 50 pounds worth of Apple. All right, and just to kind of like, to, to kind of get our mind around it. So when we say stocks, what? We're buying a share of the company. You are buying a share, literally you are buying a share of that company. So you watch Netflix, but guess what? If you are invested in Netflix, you own a share of Netflix. Of Netflix. You're flicking the channels, but you're like, I own you. Yes. Okay, and and the, and the elite, they they know this, right? Yeah. And and so so you're saying Nasdaq, if we're in like powerful tech companies, and mm. tech is a thing that's growing, it's developing, yeah. right? And we have this mindset that means there are new tech companies that are going to be born. Yes, and 
and even when they start off small, even if they're starting off big, we can acquire shares in that company and guess as what? It grows. As it grows, that's another leg for our life. That's another leg. Correct. We're, we're not just using their resources, no, but we are part of that company and they reward us for being part of it. Indeed they do. And some of these companies, not all, but some of these companies pay you dividends. Mm -hmm. So Netflix, as far as I know, doesn't pay dividends at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, what is a dividend? A dividend is a thank you gesture from the company. Not all companies do it. Just to say, thank you, Robert, you invested in Netflix. There you go. Here is £20 a month or £50 a month or £100 a month, usually depending on how much you've invested. So look at that. You've bought a stock. It's going up in value. And at the same time your stock is going up in value, they, are pay, they will pay you a small dividend every month or every two months to you know, add to your asset. You know what I like Amazing. about this? Amazing. Even, like, even Jesus knew how this worked, right? How? Okay, and don't think I'm, I'm turning to Mark of the Beast or anything, but when he gave the example of the talents, right? He says, oh, yes. U10, U5, U1, right? And there we have go. those who went, they hustled and they multiplied it. Then you had the one with one who just put it in the ground. And then when Jesus gave the analogy to him, he says, look, do you know what you could have done? You could have taken it to the banker and they'd have returned it back point, to you actually. with interest. So even Jesus knew how these things work. That's a good point. He gave a strong example point. of this that. and he said, look, wow. you have this talent. I gave it to you. You could have just done that, invested it wow. in a stock yeah. in the bank. Yeah. Yeah. You know, even if it was 0.2%. Yeah. Right. He would have given me more. Look at that. So it's even a biblical practice that we're it's seeing. It's a principle. It's yeah. a biblical principle, mm. you know, and so we can be wise. So sometimes you're used to, you know, working hard, all these kind of hours, which we need. It's part of life. It's part of what Adam and Eve caused. Right. We have to work, mm. um, but we need we can create these extra legs. Mm. And the Nasdaq is another opportunity yes. that people can get involved. Don't in. put your one talent and bury it in the soil and leave it there. Mm. Especially and, at 0.2%. And at 0.2%, <laughs> but, you know, you can treat yourself to... I don't know, but by the end of the year, you can go to the movies yeah. by yourself. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, with no popcorn. OK, yeah. so you can invest in um, the sector, the tech sector in a it's it's a, a market indices mm -hmm. called the Nasdaq and all of the tech companies. In fact, last year when we were on lockdown, guess what sector blew up? and like just just made amazing gains tell me it was the tech sector yeah like it was zoom the zoom. zoom if i right. knew this now right. i would have been like lockdown everyone would have used zoom i would have right. instinctively knew known that and right. guess what i would have had an extra a very strong leg develop right you know? right you know so um, that's who was who was going to the movies no one mm. so what were we doing we were watching netflix yeah we couldn't go to the office so we were zooming in mm. um you know, you had uh, Amazon done. I think I read a month, a couple of months ago that people made unnecessary purchases during the lockdown because they were bored and they didn't know what to do and they're on their phone. I think I'll Captain buy that. Hugo's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? You're yeah. not alone. You are not alone. Yeah. Many people done that. Many, many people and done that. And if you that. had shares in Amazon at that time yeah. or on one of these other companies, you would have had an, a very strong leg there. Well, Amazon has just posted some eye-watering wow. figures. So they have done, you know, extremely well. Mm -hmm. But like Robert is saying um, to everyone, this is another leg for the table, educating oneself on the stock market. There are different sectors. Mm -hmm. There's the, the bank sector, the, the media sector, the tech sector. You, you can research these sectors, mm -hmm. have a look at the companies inside of these sectors mm -hmm. and look to see which companies has potential and you can you can profit from this and protect yourself. Yeah. So I always like to say this is not a get rich quick scheme. Mm -hmm. This is not becoming a millionaire and showing off and being opulent. This is financial self-defense. All right. This is financial self-protecting yourself, your family, your future. That's what it is. All right. So now, so we're going to have to stop there. All mm -hmm. right. Because I know you're going to have more for us next week, Tuesday. Sure. So today you taught us about uh, the tech, uh, the tech industry, the NASDAQ. If we see it around now, you know what to do. We taught us the importance of 
supports having four legs and our minds are open to opportunities that are around us and if Absolutely. we don't why you know it's so easy for us to fall on our back right mm. um, and there are different apps available but if people wanted to know more about um, stock shares and stuff like that there are three newsletters that people can that should people should look into to connect with right there is yep which is seeking alpha so there is uh, there's if you want to just research some of this stuff there is uh, seekingalpha.com yep there is Motley Fool yep and to actually look at the stock and see what the stocks are doing and to to look uh, at how the companies are actually performing there is um, yahoofinance.com absolutely all right and if you want to um, get through to maurice to get some more tips more advice more insights they mm -hmm. can get through to you on at my money iq so it's my money iq that's i'm uh, that's my handle for instagram mm -hmm. so the website is under construction i know i've been saying that for weeks i apologize <laughs> it's coming it's coming <laughs> so there is my money iq there is also a youtube channel on how to and concepts my money iq mm -hmm. there is uh twitter instagram youtube and tiktok so just TikTok so, for the younger generation because it's important also as Robert mentioned yeah. for the younger generation my to be needs to yeah to the TikTok all of this business you just need to go there <laughs> learn my money IQ that's it <laughs> so this is important so I've put it there my money IQ you can search it up on those platforms um, also if you've got any questions you can just get through to us on our WhatsApp line and we can send you any information that you want or resend it feel to you feel free to reach out to me I'll be happy to <sighs> absolutely answer you can message him on, on, on Insta and those platforms guys so that was it that was our increasing our financial IQ I hope it's helped you today I hope it's added to you Your full. we've had to kind of backtrack a little bit because I know we have a lot of new listeners that are tuning in this morning and I hope that you've caught the gist of the breakfast show uh, and thank you so much for that Maurice you are so welcome now Connect online Monday to Friday with special guests for inspiration, motivation to start your morning right. Music, banter, fun and laughter. Connect, Connect. when you start your mornings with The Breakfast Show. Only on libertyradio.co.uk That's right, The Breakfast Show is back. libertyradio.co.uk from 6.30am.